Hi, I'm Daryl Webster for Modern Workplace Scenarios. Today I'm going to take you through some tips around managing your availability within Microsoft Teams. It's become more important nowadays because we're working remotely and we're not around our team, so we have to signal when we're available. Now, if you want to understand a bit more about the why and hear my 10 cents worth and opinions on the topic, then catch this other video. But well, let's get right into some of the skills. Now you might think that the first place to start is by going into Microsoft Teams to manage your availability. Uh, but I'm going to go into my calendar to begin with because I'm going to plan my day. So at the beginning of my day, I'm going to block out some time for tasks so that I can um, send myself a reminder, but I'm also going to signal my availability to other people. Um, so first off, we'll uh, block out these two hours just uh, across here. And um, we'll... Uh, Set that for OneDrive content for learning pathways. Okay, so much like Skype for Business, Microsoft Teams looks into your calendar and checks to see if there's any appointments or meetings within there, and it's going to change your availability to busy, or if it's a meeting, in a meeting. So this is good. Part of that's being uh, managed automatically. Now, if this is a task where you feel that you can still be available uh, and you're just working on something that uh, you want to remind yourself, then you can change the uh, show as uh, the appointment from busy to free. This will mean that you'll still get your reminder in your calendar, but it won't change your status within Microsoft Teams. Now, I'm going to just change it back to busy to lock out that time. The other thing you might notice there is a block of time called focus time. This is something that um, is available within a service called My Analytics. Uh, it, uh, that's available for a number of different Microsoft 365 subscriptions. Uh, so do check it out and see if it's in your subscription. Now, uh, focus time is a, uh, a way of me being able to automatically block time into my calendar. How do I do this? One way to get into focus time is that I can open up a message and um, I can see the insights uh, button for my analytics. Uh, now this opens up an additional pane uh, where I can go into my dashboard or I can get some of these suggestions right here. Now I'm gonna go directly into my dashboard and this is gonna open up the my analytics dashboard where I can look at focus time. Now in my focus time, I have uh, an area where I can plan um, how focus time books time into my calendar. Um, I can also see what days I have booked focus time for um, and I get some suggestions there out when I can. I'll go into the plan and you'll see that I've automatically booked some time and it's going to grab two hours every day uh, in a block so that I can get uninterrupted time and get um, a task done or maybe a couple of tasks done. I've also got a work week that plans out when I'm available so that focus time can book within that window. So back to my calendar, now I've got I've got some uh, time that I've blocked out for a task and Teams is going to change my status or availability to busy or in a meeting. Um, but also focus time uh, is going to change my status to do not disturb, which means I can get some uninterrupted time. I'm not going to get any message pop-ups. Uh, and the tip that I've got here is that if you book your your um, block of time for your task alongside your focus time, then that is a reminder for you to uh, do a certain task, but it's also going to give you uninterrupted do not disturb time. So that's two things that are helping us to manage our availability automatically. Let's go into how we can manage our availability in Teams manually. Now, uh, one way to do this is uh, over and above the time that I've blocked, I might want to um, signal that I am going to be away from my desk for a little while or that I am busy still, or maybe put myself into do not disturb automatically. To manually change my status at the top right hand corner of my profile photo, I can change my status to all these different ranges here, availability, busy, do not disturb. There's a couple of other statuses about uh, be right back, which I use if I'm going to lunch and I can signal that I'm not just away. I do plan to be back soon and uh, appear away, which is another good one, a middle ground where I can say do not disturb uh, in a sense because people um, don't see that I'm there, 
but um, they also don't know that I'm online. So we've got these statuses that we can change manually. And uh, let's just say that I am going to use the be right back one. Um, so I can choose that. And the other thing, the third thing that I will use to let my people know about my availability is I can leave them a status note. Over and above these statuses, I can add a bit more context to why I am um, a certain status. Um, and I can also leave in a note to perhaps say what I'm working on for the day. So down here, we have status message, set status message. Now this allows me to add in a few characters, up to 280 here, as you see. Um, I can even add mention people that um, I might say, if you're trying to get hold of me, then um, reach out to this person here. Um, but uh, I'll uh, just drop in a note here that I am setting to be right back and I'm taking a coffee break. Now that gives us a bit more context, which is really good. Um, our choice here is that we can show people this message when they try to message me. And this is a bit like uh, within Outlook where we can get a, um, a pop-up or a, a bar that advises people about um, whether we are in or out of the office. Um, so I've set that to, to display. And the last thing that I can do is I can automate when this gets turned back to um, having no status note. Um, so I can go to here and I can say that it's going to be here for, well, hopefully I won't take an hour coffee break. Let's go into custom. Um, and we can say that I'll be back by 10 o'clock. Done. Right. So now we have uh, a uh, status message and we get that that reminder to say that there is one in place uh, and that people will see that when they at mention me. So those are a few ways to be able to show your availability, manage your availability, so you can get work done, um, get some true focus time, but also manage the times when you are available for the rest of your team members so that you can um, collaborate and be available for those uh, idea generation sessions, all those times when people do need to ask you a question. Now, as I said earlier, if you'd like to know a bit more about the why behind this and a bit more thoughts about managing deep work or other opinions, then check out my 10 cents video. And uh, if you'd like to see more of this kind of content, then do subscribe to my channel. We'll catch you again soon. Bye for now.